This is a video overview of our 24 port PoE switch. It stands apart from the competition because of two important factors. One on the right hand side, you'll see that it has uplink ports. These two are gigabit uplink ports and it also has an SFP port which can accommodate an SFP module in there to use fiber optic cable. The other is that on the left hand side there is a dip switch that allows you to control a few features being offered by this switch. The most important one is that the first eight ports can be switched on to extended PoE mode. Those are the eight ports that are numbered one through eight, the blue border. They're able to send PoE power up to six watts per device, up to 250 meters away. It's great for use with fixed lens IP cameras. A camera such as this one can be used up to 250 feet away with this PoE switch without needing a PoE extender. All you do is just make sure you use very good Cat6 solid copper cable, preferably UL listed, run it straight from the camera to the PoE switch and it'll power those cameras without issue. Of course, the first 24 ports are PoE, so it's going to be able to send power to all your devices that you've got on there. It is also rack mountable. It comes with rack mount ears that you can attach like so. There's some screws in the bag. You can just put them on both sides. And then you can connect it to your rack. Besides that, this PoE switch also comes with a power cord that you plug into the back. Let me show that to you. Looking at the back of the PoE switch, there's a fan here. And then you can connect the power cord to the right-hand side right there. Let me not forget to mention how to turn on that extended PoE mode. It's as simple as this. You just flip on dip switch number two. It turns on the extended PoE function on the first eight ports. That's all you need to do to extend power up to 250 meters away. Well, this is the overview of our 24 port PoE switch. Keep in mind, it is an indoor PoE switch. It's a desktop switch. Keep it in a rack or a flat tabletop. Uh, it should be in an HVAC controlled environment. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.